Hello and welcome everyone. The last time we saw this car, it was in the garage. So, what we have today... is this in here. And yes, it's going to finally start to um, get put together. I need to do a couple of wiring things with it still, and I don't have it unlocked because today's video isn't necessarily completely supposed to be about this car, but I just wanted to go over, you know, a couple of things with it still. It still hasn't been warm enough to melt the snow off of it in the garage yet, even though it's in the garage. Um, it's obviously not a heated garage or anything. Otherwise, the few things that are going to happen with this probably while it's in here, and I say probably because, you know, plans change a whole bunch around here. This door is probably going to go on that side, because that side has a big old Bondo piece in it. And I'll show everyone. Um, that's kind of it. I mean... Before I actually truly get this drivable, I need to get it aligned. I need the tires remounted because there's a rock in this tire. Um, I need them balanced. These back tires, um, they really aren't perfect, but they'll do. I should probably throw my other 14s with my other new tires on them, but I haven't yet. It's been... Yeah, you know, if you, it's been time consuming, and I haven't had the need to yet. And also, you know, it's kind of difficult when you do one, you get a rock in it. So, that's here for now. Um, update on this soon, but today, we're going to be doing this. And there's a couple of things I'm going to be doing. I would be replacing those, but I don't have any. I'm going to be cleaning this out somewhat, and mostly just looking for a key, to be honest. Well, one that's in one piece, and I will get to that in just a moment. Alright, so what I'm doing is, I'm actually taking the louvers off this car, and it's not because I don't like them, I do, and they really complete the look of this car, but because I don't have the other mounting brackets down here for them, and they can flip over backwards and completely destroy the louvers and dent the uh, the roof there. So, actually, I've already unbolted these. And I'm taking them off just right now. And look, I could put them on another dot. And... Yeah, I really don't like them on this. It doesn't, it doesn't match it too much. I think the... Uh, the more sleek design for this car would look a lot better instead of the louvers on here. But also, I have a wiper on this car that I'm pretty sure, pretty certain, would hit the louvers. This car doesn't have a wiper. Also, these louvers are already beat up, and I really don't want them any. I don't want them beat up anymore. So that's another reason. I also didn't want the roof of the car to get beat up anymore if they decided to fly back over the top in a rare situation if I had bad wind. But, there we go. There's some wall art for you, as I had a spare one of those and I put it up on the wall because this is in here getting worked on. Now, moving on to the Nasty Z again, because we're cleaning part of it out today. That's why I have this glove on. Alright, so it's about 15 degrees out, and I just want to let everyone know that, uh, not necessarily looking forward to this, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to go through everything I find. This. Um. Matizzi. Where's that? I know that you probably can't see anything on it, but I can see very little on it. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that there. Maybe I can decipher it later. Water bottle. Um, this thing. Maybe for a jack, so... It's gonna 
put it in there. Uh, the weather stripping metal. Hmm, that was a bad idea. I'm just gonna move it to the side. Put that to the side. Don't know what that is. It's going in the dumpster though. A seat belt. <sighs> that was on the floor. Um, I think that might be. Oop, oop, I have to move my thing. Hope it doesn't. Hope my hatch doesn't land on my head. There we go. There we go. I'm repositioning this because I don't like where it's at. All right. In here. I'm somewhat afraid TBH. Ooh. Oh. Well. Ha. <laughs> ha. Wow. Um. Down in there, I really can't see anything except from here. A little bit of rust, as to be expected. Even though it's not necessarily what I wanted to see, but at least it's something. Um, spare tire hole. I know that there's a little bit of rust down here. I have looked in here before. Okay. The hold on bar. Uh, and I do probably plan on reusing most of these panels. Oh, jeez as they are mostly good, you know, these inside panels. Uh, mouse shot. Uh, yep, there's a big old hole down there, by the way. Ooh, I see what they did there. They riveted new, a new piece in there. Because obviously, that was just falling apart. Let's, let's, let's leave that be. Look down there. I can see on my little screen. Uh, some rust. Over here. That's actually dented in on that side. I just noticed these things, thumb, thumb screws. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Oh. Got it. I'm starting to think this was a dirt track car to be honest as uh, there's a lot of sort of clay dust in here yeah not insane but still just get, it means more work i'm afraid to touch whatever that is but i'll do it anyways yeah that's garbage okay so Ooh. I'm. I don't really want to take off the side panels right now, because that's just a lot of work. So I'm going to put that in there. Close that. Come over here and start looking in just a second. I'm moving the garbage can. All right, I think that part of this might be a factory service manual. Let's just take a look. Engine mechanical. Um, emissions control. Doesn't say on the back page, sadly. And I don't know if I wanna keep these cause they're pretty, you know, pretty gross. Oh, there. There we go. This is what everyone's wanted to see. This, I'm guessing, is the, uh, the lifter, rocker, that was the missing one. It has to be, obviously, because there's a chunk out of it. And I found the spring right here. So, that's interesting. Um, this is why you clean out old vehicles, because you never know truly what you're going to find. And I've obviously found, well, a piece of the puzzle as to what happened to this car. So, we have those two things. Let's get back to cleaning the car. 
the Tabasco sauce bottle. I don't think anyone wants that. It's pretty... Yeah, that's gross. It's going in the dumpster. Um, ew, that's cracked, sadly. I'm just going to gingerly set it back there. Illinois. 21st state. Garbage. Ooh, the injector fan thing. Garbage. Ugh. Um... Probably a receipt. Garbage. Wiring. Garbage. Fuses. Garbage. I can buy more. That goes in the garbage. Mouse crap. Garbage. This. Gross. Very gross. Ooh. Something that I don't want to touch. Garbage. By the way, I've already looked in here. There's screws from me taking that apart, looking for a key code. Um, I'm going to remove this. Get in the danger zone of my hand. There we go. Here's this. That's, well, it's good, but it's, it's trash, but it's good trash. Um... In here. And now if there's any sensitive information on here, of course, I'm not putting it in the video. But let's look. And I kind of wanted this to be uncut, so you know, I didn't fake anything or whatever. Name. Won't say. Um, phone number. Something. Uh, okay, okay. 300 Magnum with Bushnell scope. Number of payments, one. Amount of payments, 120. Date made. Uh, 93 maybe? I don't know. Finance charge, 20 bucks. Annual percentage rate, 240%. Total payments, 240. Interesting. That has personal information on it. I am not putting it in the uh, in the video. So, that's kind of good though. So maybe I can decipher that and maybe call them up and be like, or search for them on the internet, you know. Ugh, I got something in my mouth. I'm afraid. Maybe call them up though and be like, hey, do you remember this car? Well, I have it. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, nothing fancy. The reason I got excited about that is because I was thinking that maybe it was a key. And I do believe there is a key in this car, if I remember correctly, but it's like in three pieces. That is gross. Um, yeah. Ooh, gross, they smoked. Um, let's look at this. See if there's any personal information on it. If there is, of course, I'm not putting it in the video. Ugh. That makes me afraid, though. I think that's like a mouse nest, to be honest. Okay. This does have personal information on it. Um, 2003, and, well, that kind of tells me where it came from. Balls. I'm pretty sure I have a hair in my mouth. It's gross. I know I've said it like three times, but that's still gross. Ooh, so hold on. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to keep looking through there real quick. I just wanted to look real quick as um, back here I knew that saw here we go uh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a 223 casing, maybe. Maybe not. I know a little bit about cartridges, but not too much. There we go. Casing. Yeah. So, I was thinking... Oh, if it had a 300 receipt in there, maybe that was a 300 casing. And hopefully, that wasn't used to shoot anyone. Because, you know. However... There's also this in the car, so who knows? Oh. Gonna look back through here. Nothing. All right, so I'm afraid to look under there. I truly am. I really want to, so I'm just gonna kind of move that and put this back down is that no it's just 80s dots and seat gross all right this is for all the marbles i'm going to Let's see if there's anything under there can't see anything let's see if there's the key in here see this is the key that I was talking about it's broke and also there's a uh, whole lot of change in there so maybe I could make some of my money back <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch it though I'm sure you've heard that a lot through this video um, I I do remember when I bought this car, I opened the ashtray and there was a whole bunch of cigarette butts in it. <sighs> so, that'll be an uneventful video, sadly. But at least, you know, got to go through here, got to find some things. I'm going to try and, try and possibly find who had this off that one paper. If I can, you know then I can. But that'll be that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Next video should be about this. Should be, hopefully, I need to get it done. Even though it's going to be winter. So, please subscribe if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. Or if you want more dots and content. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And do Drop a comment down below saying what you think. Um, and share it with your friends that might like Dotsons or digging murder, possible murder weapons out of, you know, cars. But, who knows? Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And, honestly, subscribing, even though it takes just a couple seconds of your day, it's enough to make mine. Thank you once again. Have a great day.